The second topic in ACE exam is gas dehydration. So in this video, we are going to talk about dehydration fundamentals. The composition of natural gas is mainly methane. Okay, so CH4. And it has also other impurities like C2, C3, C4, till C5+. Plus. Okay, and we have also H2S and carbon dioxide this is our acid gas and finally we have water okay so also we have water during the treatment process to get as finally a pure uh, ch4 or methane to have natural gas we remove these hydrocarbons by condensate separation so the process is condensate separation after that, we remove H2S and carbon dioxide. This is carbon dioxide. This is by acid gas removal. Acid gas removal. After that, we need to remove the water. So the water is removed during the three phase separator. But if we have water vapor, this will be removed by dehydration. So the process of removal of water vapor is called dehydration. Dehydration is done after acid gas removal or sweating. Uh, this is called condensate. 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 Or this is our hydrocarbon liquid. Okay. So we have to remove uh, water vapor to meet a pipeline spec. The same way like H2S and the carbon dioxide, we have here a pipeline spec that we need to meet uh, to meet pipeline spec which is seven pound of water for each million double m is million standard cubic feet of natural gas so for every million standard cubic feet of natural gas you are only allowed to have seven pound of water okay this is the first thing to know about uh, dehydration secondly dehydration by definition is a process okay so the definition is extremely important dehydration is a process it could be a chemical process or a physical process depending on the treatment methods that you are going to use okay so it's a process could be again physical or chemical to remove remove water vapor and the word vapor is extremely important to remove the water vapor from natural gas okay natural gas to meet this spec of the pipeline so while the natural gas contains water or water vapor it will be called a wet gas if it doesn't have any water so no water it will be called dry gas okay so we could have I would guess if we have water vapor uh, or water is big higher than seven pound of water for per million standard cubic feet of natural gas or if it is less it will be a dry gas okay after that why <coughs> it's important to remove water vapor okay what are the problems associated with the presence of water vapor okay the water vapor with the hydrocarbons form something called hydrate this hydrates is more like ice like okay it's something similar to ice imagine you have a pipeline filled with ice what are the problems related to this first thing you it will plug the pipeline by Line. so the flow here will not be allowed to pass second thing it will plug also if it is al if it can the flow um, can pass from the pipeline so we have pipeline like this and the hydrate will be formed like here so the flow is can pass with some hydrate but it can also plug the equipment the equipment which means you will have now a restriction so you will restrict 
the flow. So it's important for the process or the flow to continue flowing, not to have a hydrate, okay? As we mentioned before, hydrate is mainly water and hydrocarbon. So the hydrate by definition, hydrate by definition is a physical combination. There is no chemical reaction. There is only a physical combination or mix between combination of water and some small hydrocarbons. Okay. And sometimes not only hydrocarbons, and the hydrate can form with H2S, also it can form with carbon dioxide, sometimes it forms with carbon dioxide, uh, okay, we mentioned carbon dioxide or nitrogen, okay? So this physical mix together will form a hydrate or ice-like combination. This ice-like combination is solid, this is its uh, properties, it's solid, it's more or less like a crystal so imagine a huge crystal of uh, of uh, a solid in uh, and the flow is asked to pass through it so it would be difficult for the flow to keep flowing and again it's ice like it's more like ice so it can totally block the flow but it's it's like ice but it's denser than ice, okay? So it's denser. The hydrate, it's important to know that the hydrate forms at temperature less than zero degrees less year. So we, in general, we have water at atmospheric pressure and it uh, form ice at zero degrees less year. This is at the atmospheric pressure. If we add hydrocarbon to form hydrate, the hydrate will be in a solid phase at temperature less than zero degrees Celsius. So, if we are able to form this hydrate at lower temperature, at lower temperature, which means if we have a hydrate, hydrate number one, forms at five degrees Celsius, and hydrate number two forms at ten. Okay, sorry, this is a negative, negative. 10 degrees Celsius. Which one is better? The one that is formed at lower temperature. Because the pipeline, the pipeline itself, might be difficult to exist at this temperature. Okay? So it gives us chance for the pipeline flow not to form hydrate. So it's for a good uh, sake, hydrate should be formed at lower temperature. Or you can add to the hydrate another material this material will will be responsible for lowering hydrate formation temperature so instead of being formed at negative 5 degrees Celsius it will be formed at negative 10 degrees Celsius okay this is important this material is called inhibitor inhibitor because it inhibit or stop the formation of um, the hydrate at a specific temperature and allow it to be formed at another lower temperature okay one of the most famous inhibitors are glycols okay so we mix um, the our flow which is natural gas with water and uh, maybe some acid gases with an inhibitor before being uh, uh, pumped to the pipeline okay so here if we have this is our pipeline this is our pipeline before pumping the flow here you have your natural gas natural gas with in other impurities most important water and other hydrocarbons at this point you add also inhibitor inhibitor like glycol this glycol will make the uh, hydrate form at lower temperature so the pipeline will need to be at extremely low temperature to hydrate to be formed okay as we mentioned before the glycols are the most uh, um, 
use the uh, type of inhibitors and also it could be used as a liquid solvent okay so uh, another hydrate inhibitors could be methanol methanol this is the alcohol of a methane methanol also you can have glycols like monoethanol diethanol but the most important one is tri or three ethylene glycol which is famous for TEG okay TEG or triethylene glycol this is the one that we are going to use as inhibitor for our aspen hysis case and also this is the most used one in ACE exam okay so in the exam you will have TEG added to this stream as inhibitor to lower the temperature of the hydrate formation 